Hello, everybody, and welcome. Today we are going to be making podcasts using Apple's GarageBand. So our first step is to open GarageBand, and you can simply do that by clicking the GarageBand icon here in the dock, or if you need to, locate this icon uh, in the hard drive under Applications. So go ahead and open GarageBand, and it's going to ask you what you want to create. And today we want to create a podcast. So we're going to make sure that we have new project highlighted here at the top left. And then we're going to go ahead and click on podcast. And then once we have that selected, click choose. And it's going to give us a couple more options. We're going to name our podcast. It could be whatever you would like and we're going to save it to the desktop so if, if desktop is not selected already here go ahead and click desktop this way it's going to be easy for us to find our podcast if we need to move it or save it to another location now you can leave the tempo signature and key the way it is we don't need to adjust that so now simply click create and it's going to load our basic GarageBand window. So, now that we have GarageBand open, we can go ahead and get familiar with some of the features. The tracks are listed over here on the left, and the default tracks include a podcast track, a male voice track, a female voice track, and a jingles track. The jingles is where our sound effects and music uh, will be located. Over here to the right of those track labels is where the tracks will actually show up. Down here at the bottom of the screen are our basic controls, our record button, and our play, pause, fast forward, rewind buttons uh, to the right of that. We have some volume controls here. And then over here on the right hand side of our window is the media browser and this is where we're going to be managing our um, photos, our videos, and our music um, all in one place so it's easy to locate things that we want to add to our podcast. So that's just a basic overview of uh, what we're going to be working with. Stay tuned and check out our next set of videos to go into some detail on how to record your vocal tracks, add photos, videos, and music.